Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be starting an entirely new build series. Today, instead of building a helicopter, or a VTOL, or an aeroplane, today we're actually going to be building a torpedo boat. Now this is because Caleb wants it, who is a channel member, so... We're going to go ahead and uh, start designing something. It is going to be sort of like this, except I'm going to build the hull a lot differently. So, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Okie dokie, so this is actually going to be kind of a challenge for me. I don't know how well it's going to go, but let's go ahead and see. So, the first thing we're going to do is actually go to this and drag this down by about, I don't know, three, I guess? Sure. There we go, that is awesome. We're then going to go ahead and attach uh, da -da 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 -da, some of these guys. Uh, to this, I believe, just like so. I think that's going to be great. Uh, and I think we might be able to get away with doing this. I'm not entirely sure we will, um, but maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Let's grab one of these guys, and we'll go ahead and send it backwards. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm actually trying to do here, essentially I'm trying to get, uh, like, that really cool hull look where it goes, like, out at the top, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does make a little bit of sense. Uh, we're also not going to have it that deep, although maybe we could. Maybe we could. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep this going backwards just like so. I think that is fine for now. There we go. Whenever we get to the back where we need to be, we're going to go ahead and bring it out with one of these. Uh, so we could just do this and do it again and maybe even one more time just like so. Okay, yeah, just like that. That is actually pretty awesome. It's kind of what I wanted anyway. So now we go ahead and we do these guys, which go backwards to there. We'll delete this guy as we go. Uh, do it again, and actually, wait, sorry, almost. Do it again, there we go, and do it again. Nice. Okay, so, at this point in the video, I do want to ask you guys, what is your favorite kind of boat? Because obviously there is, like, uh, sub-chasers, there is torpedo boats, there's destroyers, there's battleships, there's aircraft carriers. What is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and fix the front end of this really quickly. We're just going to go ahead and do this, do that, and do this. And we can attach all those guys together using these pieces. One, two, and three. Okay, so far, that is actually awesome. Okay, now we're moving on. We're going to go ahead and grab these guys. And we're going to go ahead and shove these guys in like this. Okie dokie. Just like so. That actually is going to look really, really cool. Hopefully. So there we go. And now we've actually got the bow that I kind of wanted. That's really cool. Okay, so at the bottom of this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, oh, I don't know actually, it's gonna have to go straight into one of these, which is kind of unfortunate, it's not really how I wanted it to go. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do this, because it works, uh, and I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go, whack that there and there, and do this. Okay, that's not actually too terrible. Not bad at all. Okay, so now that we've done that then, let's go ahead and grab these guys. Uh, we'll actually use these guys instead, that might be a nicer way of doing it. Down to here. We'll do it again, down to there, and we'll do it again, down to here. There we go, nice. Um, and then hopefully this will actually look really good as it goes backwards. It's essentially going to be a straight line backwards from here. We're not going to have it be rounded or anything like that. And hopefully that is actually like, I don't know, does that look nice enough? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I think it does. There we go. So that's the sides. We'll then go ahead and do this down the side like so. And yeah, I mean, I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work. It might be a little bit too tall, to be honest. I do feel like it's a little bit too tall. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, if it is too tall, I'd like to delete this little bit right here. And we'll send it from there. Actually, let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like. Because I don't think the hole should be that deep anyway. So maybe this is fine. Maybe it's not at the same time. It might not be. But we'll see. So go to that side. Go ahead and cut it. There we go. Move it upwards. There we go. Bring it forwards. Actually, we can't. We can't even use the pieces that we have. Interesting. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attach this to here, uh, which actually makes things a little bit nicer anyway. There we go. Do this going backwards. That's awesome. And um, yeah, that's not actually too bad, what we've actually done there. So we'll attach this to the front. Here we go, just like so. Very nice. And send it backwards from there instead. Okay. Yes. I think this makes much more sense anyway, being... Um, uh, like, slightly uh, flatter, if that makes sense. I actually really like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a flat bottom, because I think that's just going to make the most sense anyway. So there we go. And uh, now we just got to build it in going backwards, and that should be it. 
So, send this in a straight line going backwards like so. We'll actually bring it to about here. Uh, and that looks about the right size for a torpedo boat, I think. One would think, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Send this backwards as well. Go ahead and do this guy as well. There we go. Awesome. And I do want to know what a top-down view actually looks like on this thing. Um, because it might not look right. That doesn't look... That doesn't look bad, actually. That looks... That looks about right. Cool. Okay, so I was just looking at this, and I thought maybe we can actually do something else with it instead of just having the side look like that. And I think we can do this. Uh, continue the sides looking like this, and... Yeah, maybe just bringing it up like that. Because then it makes the side a little bit less, I don't know, ugly, I guess. Um, from there, we can actually go ahead and attach one of these guys. Uh, one of these right here. Bosh. Just like so. And then we could go ahead and just attach one of, I guess, one of these straight onto the front of there. And I don't think that looks bad at all, to be honest. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Okay, so now it's time to actually get, like build onto this. We're gonna go ahead and put in a uh, thingamabobby around the bottom. We're gonna try and make it look really nice, hopefully, uh, and it's gonna look great. So let's go ahead and do the water line right here. Uh, of course, I do want this on both sides, so hopefully it is on both sides. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and build all these guys in. Go ahead and do all this and send it from here all the way backwards. Nice. Okay, so, underside of this boat is gonna be this brownie red, which, um, always looks good, to be honest. It, it never really looks bad. So we're gonna go ahead and use that all the way around, and I think that's looking really good, actually. Nice. Okay, so, uh, on a bunch of these boats, actually, it is a little bit strange in the way that they do things, um, but essentially, on some of them, there is, like, a bump in the middle. I don't know how else to explain it other than there is a bump in the middle. Um, but essentially the floor on the front, on the top, uh, goes inwards, um, and it bumps upwards. I, I genuinely don't know how else to put it. That's what it does. <laughs> That's actually what it does. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do all these guys to there. I am gonna fill in the floor just flat for now. If I do need to change it, we can. Uh, but we'll leave it like that for right now. Okay, good. I mean, it looks a little bit weird, especially this bit right here. It looks strange. Um, but I don't really know a good way of fixing it so it doesn't look weird. I might just do this. Yeah, maybe that makes it look a little bit better. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright, yeah, cool. We'll leave it like that. And uh, it doesn't look terrible. So we'll keep it. Yeah, so what I was talking about was essentially, uh, they kind of go like this, uh, towards the, the middle of the boat. I don't know why, and I don't think I'm gonna do it, but, uh, it would be kind of cool if I did, I suppose. It would be kind of an interesting thing. Um, but I kind of just don't want to, so I'm not gonna. There we go. Okay, right, flooring. Uh, flooring is kind of important on this, and, uh, the way we're gonna do it is the same way we've done it before previously. We're gonna paint the entire thing this color, and we're gonna do some other colors. To make it fit. In fact, should we go with these ones instead? I think I prefer this color rather than these ones. I do. These ones seem a little bit too dark. So we're going to go with this. And I'm going to go ahead and put a pattern into the floor. And hopefully it looks good. So one, two, three, four. I always do fours. Um, hopefully that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I'll be back with you guys very soon. I was just thinking, actually, we have these railway cars that have some sort of, like, a wood deck flooring on them, and I don't see a point in changing it from this, so we're actually going to go ahead and use one of these, which might be a little bit weird, but, um, I think it might actually fit in quite well, so let's go ahead and put it on our boat and see what it looks like. Because it might look really good, it might also look really bad, we'll see. So let's go ahead and paste this into there like so. There we go, paste it, nice. Go ahead and continue it backwards. Uh, and essentially, I'm going to do the full deck just like this. Of course, it is a recurring pattern, so it is a little bit repetitive. Uh, but it's not as repetitive as what I was going to do, so it is better. Okay, so let's go ahead and merge all of these guys together. I've actually put in a lot of these guys. There, There is loads of them. So there we go. And uh, this is what it currently looks like. Which, um, yes, very repetitive, but uh, I think it might look nicer than doing what I was going to do. Of course, this is going to get broken up anyway, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and I will actually paint these guys a different color too. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and this, and this, and I'm going to have to do the same thing up here as well. Which is kind of unfortunate, but sure, there we go. Okay, good. Yeah, not too, not too shabby. Um, so... If that is the case, let's go ahead and seal it off at the back really quickly. 
We will take this out, but really quickly, I just want to spawn it in and see what it looks like like that. Okay, yeah, probably too repetitive. Um, we will probably have to change this in the future, but that's okay. We can totally do that. But anyway, how long should this thing actually be is a good question. I actually don't know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab like an extra bit right here. We're going to go to the other side as well. And we're going to go to the underside and grab all of this. And essentially, we're just going to go ahead and copy it and paste it a bunch of times. Paste and paste and paste. There we go. Paste and one more, I guess. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. I actually know. Maybe that's already right. Yeah, I think this is already the right size. It's quite long, actually. Maybe do... Um, one less. There we go. Merge that guy, and then we're gonna have to... I don't know, like, cut off the bow, and then that'll be fine. Not the bow. Um, the stern. We're gonna, like, slice it. I don't know what to do here, actually. Honestly, I think usually they are sort of just, like, flat. Uh, on, like, I, I don't think there's much more to them than them being flat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, and, um, fill it in using the right colors, and we might be actually just good to leave it like that, I guess, maybe. So, do this. Yep, grab the red. I'm going to do it slightly differently, actually. I've got an idea. So we're going to go ahead and paint this really quickly. Uh, we'll paint this bit white, and we'll just go ahead and seal this off really fast. Just for now. There we go. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and get rid of a bunch of this, because I think it's a little bit a little bit wrong, the way that it currently is. Uh, get rid of this. There we go. Awesome. Get rid of all these guys, and probably, actually, get rid of all this too, because it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to be there at all. Um, but essentially, we're going to bring this forwards another two, I guess, or three. There we go. And then we're going to fill it in from there, and we'll have it like that. I know that I didn't really change an awful lot, but um, yeah. It'll definitely look a lot better this way. Maybe. I think so, anyway. All right, and then what color are torpedo boats? They're not really white. They're not usually white, anyway. They're normally more like a metal color, like maybe like a bluey color, like a bl that, like that maybe. Yeah, I guess we could go with that. Uh, and that doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, something's telling me that I should have just went with a normal hull for this, but I, I, I like the idea of doing it like this, and I never really build boats like this, so we'll leave it as is. Um, obviously, we're gonna have a um, like a bridge sunken into this. And we'll also have a sky bridge on top of that bridge. And I think we'll have like a machine gun mounted in the front. And then the torpedoes will actually slide off the sides at the back. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is a good start. Hopefully it is. Um, and hopefully it actually works. Okay, so if we leave it pretty much as is for right now, let's go ahead and jug a outline around the top so it doesn't look so out of place. And we might end up getting rid of this bit on the top. I'm not so sure just yet. Um, but yeah, in the next one, we'll obviously add a bridge to this thing. Uh, in the one after that, we'll add some engines and try and make this thing move. And then in the one after that, we should be able to actually move on to, uh, the actual torpedoes. Or we'll actually add the gun in the front and maybe some guns on the back. We'll see. I don't know. For now, though, uh, I am going to leave this one here. Actually, sorry, I am going to change it slightly. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Not going to lie, I really want to. So it's going to be a little bit longer than it currently is. Uh, let's go ahead and copy it from about there, cut it, move it backwards to about here, and I think that's like more of a right, the right size, maybe. So if we can, let's go ahead and clear this, move this guy to there, and that's how much we need. So, uh, if we can, let's go ahead and move this forwards, go ahead and copy it, move it backwards, paste it in, and there we go. Because I feel like torpedo boats should be quite long, and that seems about the right size. Okay, excellent. I'm happy with this. I am very happy with this for right now. Good. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more of this series, let me know in the comments down below. And tell me what you guys want to see. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.